Hello, everyone. Um, who knows what's Alexa? Okay, Ooh, awesome. Who developed any skill for Alexa? Ooh. Who is using Node.js? Perfect. So let's try something. I'm not sure if all of those things will work because uh, sometimes when it's a bit noisy or something like that, Alexa can just not work that, that good. Uh, Echo Dot, actually. Echo is much better. So let's try to start the presentation. Alexa, start the presentation. Hello, no slides conference. Alexa, ask the presentation to introduce me. Slobodan is a CTO of Cloud Horizon and co-organizer of JS Belgrade meetups. He is also a co-author of serverless apps with Node and Claudia.js book, published by Manning Publications. So, can you hear that? Yeah. Cool. So, uh, okay. Uh, the goal for today is, uh, actually first, as Alexa said, I'm uh, Slobodan Stojanovic and uh, I'm CTO of a small Canadian Serbian uh, company. We are doing many different things, basically well, most of them are web application and things like that. We developed some of the Alexa apps. I'm mostly pay playing with Alexa in my free time. Uh, I'm also a co-author of a book about serverless apps with Claudia.js, and, and uh, actually with Node and Claudia.js uh, with Alexander, and uh, he'll speak about serverless applications later today, so I, I would recommend that one, uh, uh, that presentation to you. And uh, why I'm mentioning serverless application? Because uh, serverless is about AWS Lambda, and uh, whenever you say some command to Alexa, it can trigger uh, either AWS Lambda function or uh, some of your a RESTful API. But uh, I prefer AWS Lambda because it's much cheaper, so first million requests each month are free, and uh, next million requests are like 20 cents. So basically you can have a skill for Alexa that costs you zero dollars, unless you have more than million users or something like that, which is pretty good. So uh, the goal for today is uh, for me to show you how to build a simple uh, Alexa skill, and then we'll add a few more things to that skill. And uh, if we have enough time, we'll try to add some uh, some kind of um, analytics to uh, to that skill. And uh, I tried to, to find something interesting to build a skill about, and uh, who is into cryptocurrencies? <laughs> That's a big buzzword, so let's try to do something like that. Uh, let's try to, to, to uh, I'm not that into cryptocurrencies, but everyone in my office is, so. <laughs> Yeah, let, let's try to build a skill that uh, we can ask for, for the price of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum, for example, and uh, it should return the price for us and a few other things. For example, maybe we can ask the skill uh, uh, how many Bitcoins can we get for like $1,000? That would be zero point something, but whatever. <laughs> also, uh, maybe we can ask for historical data. For example, uh, what was the price of Bitcoin like two months ago or something like that. So that should be simple, uh, and let's try to do that. I'll, I'll build my skill in Node.js, but you can do that in uh, many different languages, and uh, you'll see, it's really simple. So can you see the, the font on the screen? <coughs> okay, maybe I should uh, change the, just a second, how do I change the, <coughs> I think white one will work better. <coughs> Hope that one is good enough. So, okay, first thing that I'll do is I'll just create a new folder and uh, initiate the M uh, NPM, uh, actually uh, node the project. So let's call my uh, folder skill and then I'll enter that folder and I can do NPM in it Minus F will just force everything and say yes to everything, so I'll get some basic uh, Node.js project. And to build a skill, I, uh, actually, this is probably not the best uh, way to build a skill. Let, let me show you how, how does that work uh, from the Alexa part first. So, if I want to build a skill, actually, let's, Let's see my, uh, the presentation skill that uh, I started. Uh, so, each Alexa skill has a few different things that uh, we need to set up in the beginning. We need to set the name of the skill. That's the name that will appear in the Alexa store in the end. 
We also need to uh, set the invocation name. You probably don't see this. Uh, it should be better. So the invocation name in uh, my previous uh, one was the presentation. So that's why I was able to ask Alexa to start this skill by asking Alexa to start the presentation. That was the name of the skill. Uh, then Alexa will ask you to, uh, if you need audio player, video player, which is a bit weird because this doesn't have screen. Alexa is not the device. Alexa is basically just the smart assistant. Alexa lives in the cloud. So uh, that uh, the devices can be different. Uh, this is Echo Dot. There's Echo, the bigger one. There's also many others. And now there's uh, Echo Screen or something, uh, Echo View. I'm not sure the, uh, what's, what's the name. But it has the screen. So you can play the video or something like that. So that's why it's asking us uh, if we want the video. Also, render template is uh, there because uh, you can show the different things on that screen now. So when you fill that first screen, then you need to go to interaction model. And that tells Alexa how, how do you want to invoke it and uh, what do, uh, do you want to be able to do with it. So you need to define some kind of intents because in the end, uh, when Alexa triggers your Lambda function or, um, sorry, or RESTful API, it will not uh, send you the full text that someone uh, spoke to Alexa, it will parse everything and just send you the intents and some slots. So the, the, the simplest thing that I did was uh, just creating two intents. One was intro and the other one was the end, which we'll, uh, we will use that one in the end, of course. We can define some slots. Uh, for this skill, I didn't need any slots. Slots are uh, uh, sorry, dynamic parts of your uh, invocation. So for example, for uh, for CryptoBot, we'll need some slots for uh, coin name and things like that because we want to be pro uh, to be able to provide the name of the coin, which should be, for example, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and whatever, Ethereum. And also, in the end, you need to train Alexa to, to understand some things. And training is with uh, sample utterances. Uh, and that's quite simple. It's not anything special. So first word is always the name of your intent. The, the name that you defined here. Can you see this? Sorry. So uh, I told Alexa that uh, intro uh, intent should be triggered if I say introduce me or if I say introduce or introduction. And the end uh, intent should be triggered if I say something with finish, close, end, or say thanks. Uh, so if I try again and try to, to tell Alexa, uh, so always I need to say Alexa, which is a wake up word, wake word to, to trigger the device because it, it, it's listening all the time, but uh, it will not react to everything that you are uh, speaking. Uh, and the, the, uh, you can change that uh, invocation, uh, actually wake uh, word to uh, Amazon dot echo and computer, I think. Uh, they, they, Pick Alexa because it's it's not the common name and uh, it has that uh, Alexa. So well, it's not something that you're speaking all the time and it's not something that you have in other words that you're using every day. Unless your your name is Alexa, then of course you need to change it. And of course uh, you can you can name it computer and then you can have something like Star uh, Star Trek computer. So uh, I need to say Alexa. Then for example, ask my skill to do something or something like that. So let's try to, to use this uh, introduction. I can say, for example, Alexa, uh, ask the presentation to in, uh, for the introduction. Slobodan is a CTO of Cloud Horizon and co-organizer of JS Belgrade Meetups. I'm not able to stop He's it. He's also a co-author of serverless apps with Node and Claudia.js, published by Manning Publications. Okay, whatever, stop. Uh, okay, so. Uh, when you define that, that's basically everything that you uh, need. And the, the second phase is just, oops. The, the second thing is just to uh, define what do you want to be triggered when uh, you trigger Alexa skill. So you can, whenever I say Alexa, it, it's just uh, blowing. Uh, you can uh, put AWS Lambda, as I said, or you, you can put any HTTPS uh, webhook or RESTful API or whatever. It will just send you some, uh, some kind of uh, JSON with uh, intent and other data. And you can set other things here. For example, you can do account link linking. Uh, but, uh, for example, if you want to use Alexa with your application, which requires uh, 
login, let's say Spotify or something like that. In Alexa settings, you can connect your Spotify account, but first you need to, uh, to enable that for your Alexa skill. Also, you can uh, add certain permissions to, to Alexa, for example, to read the uh, full address or uh, country postal code and things like that of, uh, of the user, but we don't need that. And when you define all those things, the next thing is to, to test everything, and you have some testing ground here, even if you don't have Alexa, you can do, for example, uh, you can type here without Alexa ask, whatever. This is just the command part, and if I do, uh, if I just ask Alexa, you'll see that the thing that uh, your API will receive is just uh, many different things. For example, session. We'll see what the session is, but basically you can have some open session so you don't need to trigger Alexa again and again. You can have uh, some kind of uh, conversation without saying Alexa many times. Then uh, you can receive a request, and this request is intent request because there's a few few of them. It can be intent request. It can be a lunch request. That's the when I uh, said Alexa start the presentation. That was lunch request, not the intent request. And you can also have audio player uh, some different audio player requests and also session end request and things like that. Uh, and then I received intent, and the intent name was intro. And that's uh, how I knew that Alexa want uh, introduction. Also, there are slots, but they're empty now, and some other things. For example, context of the Alexa, if you're using audio player and things like that. And the response should be very simple. We need to, to return the version that's required, but it's 1.0. I don't know why it's required, but anyway. Uh, then we need to return some kind of response. And uh, responses can be different. As we saw, uh, there is that video component, so response can be some, something on the screen, but uh, in this case, uh, we just want Alexa to speak, so it's output speech, and uh, it's a simple plain text, nothing special. Sometimes you, you need to change some things. For example, for JS, I'm writing it as j.s. So I'm sure that uh, Alexa will uh, say that as JS, not as something else. It will probably work even without that, but sometimes uh, it will just try to read the word instead of uh, the thing that you expected. And we just said that we want the session to be uh, ended in the end, and there's no session attributes, and that's it. And we can probably ask Alexa to see. My microphone is probably not connected, but anyway, you can hear it here. It will just repeat the, the thing that you received here. So basically, you can test Alexa skill without having Alexa, and also there's a, a place for the visual skills, so you can, uh, sorry, test the, scre the screen part. So um, that's the basics of Alexa uh, skills. Uh, then if you want to publish the skill, there's a few things that you need to fill out. It's not that hard, it's just uh, you need to provide some instructions how they test the skill and things like that. Then the descriptions, uh, description and full description, and then a uh, few phrases uh, that they'll show on the website as uh, sample phrases that you can say to Alexa. And finally, of course, images and things like that. When you save, uh, when you, uh, save that, you can submit for certification, wait for maybe a day or two, and then your Alexa app uh, will be, uh, actually, Alexa skill will be available in App Store. But uh, let's try to build a skill. So uh, to build a skill, I'll go to new skill. Uh, you can build a few different uh, things. Uh, first is custom interaction model, which is the, the thing that we want to build. Then you can build smart comb uh, uh, skill that interacts with some, uh, for example, smart bulbs or whatever. Uh, there are some flash briefing skills, whatever they are. Uh, also video skills for that uh, echo show. Uh, you can pick the language, and for now, unfortunately, there's just a few languages available. You, you can use English, US, UK, Canada, and India. Uh, maybe we should try Indian English, but <laughs> we can try later. Uh, you can use German and Japanese. And you can add multiple languages and, uh, for the same skill, but we'll not do that today. So let's give the name to our skill, and uh, let's just call it uh, so, currency uh, bot or something like that. He, uh, then we need to, to uh, define invocation name. And uh, to 
to make it as simple as we can, let's just call it uh, crypto. So uh, we'll be able to say, Alexa, ask crypto for something. So that's simple. Uh, for global fields, we don't need audio player for, for now. We don't need a uh, video app and we don't need the uh, render template. So maybe it would be useful to create some uh, render template and to, to show on the screen what's the current Bitcoin price or whatever, but we'll not do that today. Uh, so I saved that. As you can see, uh, we can now add different languages here, but we'll not do that today. For different languages, you just need to define the same things, nothing else. Uh, next, we need to define our inter, uh, intent schema. And uh, for intent schema, uh, we want to define a few things. Uh, first, we need to define intents, which is an array. Uh, this is a simple JSON object, nothing special. And then uh, we want to, to define, for example, first intent that will be, uh, uh, let's say, uh, get price or something like that. Oops. Uh, so there's no specific, uh, um, so uh, there's no any uh, pointers. How do you need to define your uh, intents? You can use uh, camel case. You can use um, something like this. You can use all caps. It's up to you. So, uh, also for get price, uh, since we are in Europe, let's use just euro as a uh, currency. Go on. Oh, sure. Is that better? Thanks. Uh, so, we also need some slot. We, we want to be able to receive the different coins as uh, that dynamic part of the command. So, we'll add slot. And... Um, even if we have one slot, we need to define array of slots. And uh, let's say that uh, our slot uh, name will be <coughs> coin, for example. Maybe that's not a good name, but whatever. And uh, then we, we need to define type of our slot. And uh, because there's no, uh, there are some built-in um, intent types. I'll show you that. Uh, so, for example, if we want numbers, dates, and things like that, Amazon has that. So you can use Amazon date, Amazon dot duration, if you want to, to say, for example, five minutes and things like that. There's a bunch of them. So you can uh, even use four-digit number, Amazon number, or whatever. There's a lot of things, even like uh, actors or whatever. But uh, of course, there's no cryptocurrencies yet. Uh, so we'll need to define a custom type of uh, slot. And uh, let's call uh, that one uh, coin types. We don't have that uh, slot type yet, but we'll define it, uh, define it soon. So for now, we have enough things to, to start building the, the skill. We'll not add other intents. So for now, let's, let's start just with this one. And uh, let's create that coin types uh, slot uh, type. So there's a next input field is for custom slot types. We'll just add coin types and then we need to, to add the coins that we want. We can, for example, add Bitcoin. Uh, it's, uh, you need to add one item per line. So it can be multiple words or whatever. So let's add the uh, Litecoin and I think it should be written like this, maybe not, whatever. So now we have that custom uh, types, uh, custom uh, slot type. So uh, this get price will uh, ask you for uh, for coin name, and uh, then we need to define how how do you invoke your skill. So uh, for invocation, we need to uh, use that intent name that we defined, and then uh, in this uh, sample utterances, we can say uh, intent name. Then we want to use some uh, phrase that you would uh, be able to ask Alexa. So for example, what's the price of Bitcoin or something like that should be okay. Uh, I don't want to say Bitcoin here because that will not work for other coins. So instead I can say coin because uh, uh, it's in curly braces because coin was the name of my slot here, as you can see. So I'm just using that name of the, the slot, not the slot type, but the name. So if I say, uh, what's the price of uh, coin that should work, then we can say uh, 
get price again and then uh, the next thing uh, can be for example current bitcoin value or whatever <laughs> I think those two will be enough for now to, to test and then we'll add more of them. Uh, it's really important to define, so the, the, the hardest part, uh, thing of uh, Alexa skills is to define the interaction model, not really to build the skill, uh, and to understand limitations of Alexa and well, oops, just a second. There was a problem uh, with your request, I don't know what I, oh, I need to click on add here. I forgot to do that, sorry. When I click on add, uh, you'll see that now we'll have coin types with those values. I can edit them or delete them or add more uh, slot types. And then if I save, I'll zoom out now just uh, for you to be able to see everything. Um, model will try to build everything and uh, we need to wait a few seconds because now uh, Alexa is training, uh, actually, uh, is using your sample utterances to, to train uh, itself to uh, understand your skill. So sometimes it takes like a few seconds, sometimes it takes one minute or so, but it's not that long. And whenever you change uh, anything on this screen, it, uh, it will need to train uh, itself and to, uh, to do something. But what is, uh, oh, it's done. So next step is for us to, to uh, define the endpoint. As I said, we'll use AWS Lambda because it's really simple, you'll see. Uh, and uh, the good thing now is that uh, if you want to have, uh, because they, they now can have skills in uh, US, so for example, imagine uh, West Coast, East Coast, Europe, and India, it's all over the world. And if you're using just one uh, endpoint, it will be a bit slow in other parts of the world because of latency and everything. So if you want, you can define a uh, geographical region date, uh, endpoint. So for example, you can hit one endpoint with, uh, from West Coast in um, US and the other endpoint uh, from Europe. Um, so that's it, let's try to build our skill. And um, I just initialized here uh, empty repository. I'll, do, uh, I'll just create the new um, JS file. For example, I'll call it skill.js, but you can call it whatever you want. And uh, I just switched to uh, Visual Studio Code, so let's hope this will work. Maybe a few days ago. It should be okay, but I have no idea. Uh, I'll turn off the console because I really don't need it. So uh, let's try to build a skill. So how do we build a skill? First, uh, you don't need this, but I'm, uh, most of the time I'm using use trick just to, to be sure that I don't have some weird issues. Uh, so uh, the first thing I want is to define some handler function. This function can be named however you want and that function will receive event and event is uh, anything that triggered Lambda function, in this case will be uh, Alexa. And uh, you remember that JSON that I showed you in the beginning that Alexa will send us, that will be this event. Then the second thing will be uh, context of your Lambda function. So that context will help you to, for example, uh, see how long your Lambda function is uh, uh, working and uh, things like that. We really don't need that right now, but we need the uh, callback in the end to be able to, to answer to, to Alexa's skill. So uh, that's the simple uh, function. I'll not do anything special here. So let, let's do just a console log event. Uh, and uh, then we'll return something. We'll return some JSON object. But when we, uh, we'll set this up, but uh, beside that, we need to export this handler. So I'll ex actually, so Lambda function will be able to use it. So uh, this is the, the probably the biggest uh, difference between uh, Express or something like that in, uh, in Node and uh, Lambda functions, because uh, we can't use modal exports they require a uh, named export, so uh, you need to do exports, handler, and then that needs to be that function that we, actually, let's call this function Alexa skill, <coughs> so I don't confuse you with the same names. I just want to uh, export that skill as a named handler, because that's something that uh, AWS Lambda will uh, require from, from us. And here, we, we need to define some, uh, some things, for example, version. I remember that one. 
And this is something that I never, uh, I'm never able to remember. So uh, I'll go to GitHub because uh, <coughs> actually here, go here. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, because I'm not able to remember all those things, of course I created a small node package that will allow me to, to do some simpler things. I'll not integrate it immediately, I just want to copy, uh, copy something and this is... So uh, my package, instead of uh, just answering with uh, that JSON, which should look like this, my package just allows you to, to answer with return text and it will wrap it up in, uh, in everything you, uh, you need for Alexa to, to be able to to answer, but for now I'll copy this and use it here. So here it is. Let's say, oops, I need to disable this on, on code. So I want to do response. A uh, session should be ended. That's okay. Then output type should be plain text. That's fine. Our text should be, for example, uh, hello. No slides come for now, nothing special. It's almost the same, but let's just try to deploy the first kill. So this is some reply from Alexa that uh, looks simple. So let's try to deploy that and connect that. Uh, I'll go back to uh, my terminal and uh, the easiest way uh, to deploy uh, serverless functions, uh, actually there's a few frameworks, but I prefer Cloudio.js and uh, Alexander will talk a bit more about that uh, later today. So I can say, Claudia, uh, Claudia uh, create, because I want to, to be able to create a new Lambda function. Then I need to define region. Uh, so uh, most of the time I'm using Frankfurt as region because that's the closest to Serbia and, and Italy, but uh, Alexa requires uh, Ireland actually uh, to, to be able to work in uh, uh, Europe. So I need to define um, EU West one, that's uh, the code for Ireland uh, region for AWS. This is just uh, deploying everything through AWS. It's nothing, it's no magic or anything like that. Then I need to define a handler function and my handler function is in skill.js file. I don't need to, to say JS, uh, Claudia will add that. And it's called handler. So I'll do just uh, skill and then handler and finally, uh, by default, uh, Claudia will deploy everything as latest version, but Alexa will not allow us to use latest version, so I need to add a different version name for this, and my version name will be skill, and for some reason this is going to, to another line. But anyway, what I did here was Claudia create region EU West 1 handler, skill handler, it's skill because my uh, file was skill.js. If my, if my file was uh, index.js, it, it would be uh, index.handler. And finally, version will be skill. If I click enter, it will pack all the, the things that I installed and I didn't install anything and uh, the code and uh, prepare everything and upload everything to Lambda function. Then it will define uh, roles and things like that that we need uh, for our skill to be working. And finally, it will upload everything and uh, I'll get this. I have Lambda function, it's deployed, it should work now. It has some role, it has some name, and it's in EU West 1 region. So now, to be able to use that as uh, Alexa, uh, Alexa uh, endpoint, I need to allow this uh, Lambda function to be triggered through Alexa. So, Claudia can help you with that too. Uh, in help, uh, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with uh, Claudia, but there's one of them is allow Alexa skill trigger because we need to do that. Uh, so I can say Claudia allow Alexa skill trigger. Uh, I need to define again version because uh, it's just for one version. You are not allowing Alexa to trigger any version of your skill, just one. Uh, by default, it will be latest, of course. And uh, I'll define region again uh, because uh, I don't think I need because uh, I, I already have that info, but uh, my default region is uh, EU central one, so I'll try to define it again. If I click enter, it will just print something like this and this thing is called arm and uh, that's exactly what I need to paste. Just a second. 
here. That's it. When I do that, I can do next. It'll take a few seconds just to check that everything works. I'm on testing screen, it's enabled. So let's try to test something and say whatever. Let's try to say hello. Oops, the response in invalid. Let's see if we did something wrong. Let's say what's the price of Bitcoin? <coughs> Okay, we have some problem. So that, that's great because we can try to debug it. Uh, debugging is not that fun because basically what you need to do is to go to uh, AWS, to CloudWatch, uh, then to uh, go to your region, and then to find your, uh, to go to logs, and then to find your bot, which is called skill. Click here, then take a look here and try to figure out what was wrong. It's not fun at all. <coughs> function name, uh, it doesn't matter because I just exported the function. So I log this, I return the whatever. So actually I know what I will do. Uh, I'll just install this because I know that it will work with this. Yeah, let's just install Alexa Skill Kit because I know how, how does it work with this. NPM install Alexa skill kit save. It will be really fast, so that's okay. Uh, I checked everything at home and it worked. <laughs> so basically what I should do here is to pass event and context and then I need to pass uh, as the last argument some fun uh, callback function that will have uh, parsed message. So now uh, I don't need callback anymore. Now instead of this, I can just use this and simply do return. Why is it working like this? Whatever. Then uh, to be able to deploy again, I just need to be to do Claudia update and to define version. If I do that, it should upload everything really fast. And then I don't need to rebuild everything. I just not, uh, need to go here and try again. And hopefully it will work. Yes, it will. So let's try, it out, uh, try out our bot. Alexa, ask crypto for Bitcoin price. Hello, no slides conference. That's what, <laughs> not really, uh, price of Bitcoin, but whatever. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's try to build some, uh, so I found some module that is called uh, Crypto Compare because I didn't want to uh, try to, uh, to find the API to connect to and things like that. So I'll just uh, use this module to, to get the price of uh, Bitcoin and things like that. So I'll install it and save it. And I really hate this module a bit because uh, it requires uh, global fetch, so I need to do something like this, and that's something that I really don't want to do, but let's just do it uh, for presentation. Um, let's say const fetch, if I need fetch for something else, and install it. Um, do anyone know how to disable this auto -format formatting in <laughs> Visual Studio code? It's <laughs> I hate double quotes and things like that in my code, but anyway. Uh, I'll not do that right now. Uh, anyway, uh, let's try to get the price. Uh, to get the price, I need to initiate this. Oops, I already did that, sorry. Copy pasting, of course. Uh, then I need to get the price. It's it's good because, for example, my uh, uh, Alexa uh, scale kit uh, module requires uh, promises, and it's great that this one is using promises, so I can do something like this, for example. For now, let's hard code it, uh, hard code that just for Bitcoin, and then we'll make it more uh, dynamic. So what I'll do is I'll say uh, Bitcoin and here Euro, and then as far as I remember, I can do. Oops. 
I can do something like this. Uh, Uh, prices, as far as I remember, it should be like this. Let's try to deploy it and see if this will work. So I hate doing this Claudia update. Actually, I hate uh, typing this every time. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can go to uh, <coughs> package.json and then in scripts we can do update and then say Claudia.json. Uh, I have Claudia installed globally, but you can uh, do npm install Claudia minus D, which will install Claudia locally, then you'll not uh, need to have Claudia globally. Uh, and uh, let's not wait for this. Uh, then I can do npm run update, and that will deploy my scale, even if I choose or not. Uh, oh, I need to install node fetch, of course. That's why I hate this, but whatever. Let's try to update it again. Okay, hopefully it should work now. Alexa, ask crypto for Bitcoin price. Bitcoin price is 7,060.62. Nice. So it was easy, but let's make it a bit better. So we need that uh, this is in euros, and we need that it will not be one euro, so we can put S in the end. Uh, so uh, first we need somehow to uh, get those uh, codes for each of the coins that we support. So uh, let's do something like this. Coins equal, what's the noise? Uh, so, for example, we have Bitcoin, that's BTC, uh, Litecoin, as far as I remember, that's LTC, uh, and <coughs> Ethereum, which is this, I think, we'll see. And uh, here, uh, in parsed message, we can see uh, what was the intent. So for example, let's try to, to react on uh, intent and on launch request, and I think that's it that we'll be able to do today. Message intent, if that exists, and if message intent is, uh, name is get price, Uh, then we'll uh, try to get the, the slot value and uh, let's say our coin, sorry for that. Uh, our coin is message intent slots. That's something, that, uh, that's the object that will be returned. And then uh, the name of our slot and then value. It's, it's not that nice, formatted, but uh, that's something that is required by the, the data that Alexa is sending. So uh, I'll not do that right now because we don't have enough time, but here you should just check if this coin is one of the coins that we are supporting. And then if, if, it, if it is not, then we can say, uh, hey, please uh, use Bitcoin, Ethereum, or uh, Litecoin, whatever. But right now, let's not do that. Let's try to uh, do <coughs> coins of uh, coin to lowercase because I have no idea it, if it will return uh, the, the capital uh, B or not. And then let's convert that to euro. And finally, let's do coin here. That should be it. Uh, and let's try to deploy it again. It should work for Litecoin and Ethereum now. If it works, then we'll just do the launch request, and I think that's it for today because we have uh, less than 10 minutes, but uh, that's it. Um, so, Alexa, ask crypto for Litecoin price. Litecoin price is 
monthly price is 65.84 euros. Nice. Alexa, ask crypto for current Ethereum value. There was a problem with the requested of course, response. It didn't understood me well. So Alexa, ask crypto for current Ethereum value. Alexa, ask crypto for current Ethereum price. There was a problem with the requested skills. So we have some problem. We, we can check. It's probably that uh, it doesn't understand the Ethereum well. So, uh, but beside that, let me show you the, the other thing first. So I want to do launch request beside this. So I want to return something here and to be able to, to, to say something nice in the beginning. And uh, to be able to do that on time, I'll just uh, cheat a bit and copy that because I have that. No. Sorry. <coughs> so if it's launch request, I'll explain this code, of course. In the end, if it's launch request, I want to do this. I'll install this message uh, template, which will re uh, allow me to uh, build some nice custom templates. Uh, and then uh, I want to say something like hello from a cryptocurrency bot. I can give you the info about Bitcoin and other currencies. How can I help you today? And then I want to tell user what uh, can be used with this skill. For example, you can say what is current Bitcoin price and things like that. Then if I don't say anything, I want to use reprompt and to be able to, uh, to remind user what can be done and then to keep session open. So that's something that I want to do. Uh, to be able to do that, I need to install this message template. It just allows me to do things like this instead of uh, returning a JSON. It's uh, documented, of course. Uh, require, just a second, require. Alexa message builder, and then I just need to install that uh, to my command line. It's installed. Uh, and then let's just npm run update. Should work. Okay, let's write. Alexa? <laughs> Alexa, start crypto. There was a problem with the request skills response. Sorry for that. <laughs> Let's go back to uh, CloudWatch, refresh. Because we redeployed, I need to go to this one. Uh, it's probably not finding something in tent, in tent, <coughs> logs, whatever. Message type, launch request. Actually, I have backup, so I can show you with the backup code because I know that one works. So, I'll just deploy the backup code and cheat a bit. Alexa? Start crypto. There was a problem with the request skills response. Okay, it will not work. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, how can I show you this? Mm -hmm. This works. For, for some reason, it doesn't work with the... Uh, but uh, I can show you the... Alexa, what was the Bitcoin price yesterday? Sorry, I don't know that. <laughs> That's a good... Oh, I didn't ask. Alexa, ask crypto what was the Bitcoin price yesterday. I can give you the info only for Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ethereum. Okay. Alexa, ask crypto what was the Litecoin value yesterday. Only for Come on. <laughs> so it's not perfect every time, but uh, as you can see, let's try one more time and I, uh, I think that's it. 
Alexa, ask crypto for the Bitcoin price. What's the problem with the requested skills response? What the fuck? <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> ask crypto what was the Bitcoin price yesterday. <laughs> anyway, whatever. Okay. So, I'll make sure that I tweet the latest version of uh, of this. Uh, maybe it will work. Yes, who knows? Alexa, Alexa, start crypto. There was a problem with the request. It's something with the. Uh, so anyway, I'll put the code for everything, working code for everything on my uh, Twitter account. And my Twitter account is, just a second. Actually, you can find it on the website. It's uh, Slobodan underscore. And um, yeah, it's this one. So I'll put the GitHub repo with the code. If you have any questions for Alexa or something like that, I'll be around. And let's try, last thing, Alexa, ask the presentation for the end. Grazie for leader Tenzione. Enjoy the rest of the time. It doesn't speak Italian well. Thank you.